We are probably cooked. Come on. Come on. One time, Sparky. After losing two critical Pokemon in the Magma Gauntlet and failing to close out against Flannery for the second time in a row, we were back at the truck again for Run 36. Being disappointed by Swambert's minimal contributions, especially during the Flannery split, we decided to make Run 36 a chicken run. The supporting cast we pulled together from the early Rude encounters is Slugma, Lediba, Lovedisk, Nidoran, Poliwag, and Oddish. Hitting that Oddish does open us up to delay Rustboro to get Armaldo after our fourth badge, but with all the struggles we've had beating Flannery, we've decided to take all the mods we can get. Despite this play being arguably suboptimal for putting together a game-winning run, we get rewarded by hitting the 5% Sunkern, who we end up naming Sunny D. We end stream for the day as I go to brush up on my early game chicken strats, which helps us get Deathless up to Roxanne. The fight goes pretty by the book up until she's got two Pokemon left, Shuckle and Lunatone. We aim to KO Shuckle with Poliwag, but once they're not able to close it out, we try out a cheeky line that allows Sunflora to set up. The number we need to check is what does it take to one-shot uh, Lunatone. Plus three is the, the safest. We're gonna do this. Yeah, that's actually like an insane. I think I think we always go one more go and we can't get put to sleep. We wanna see one more turn of sleep or roll out here. The only horrible thing would be toxic. Curse is totally fine. Okay, I think we should be gravy. So the only thing that would screw us would be exactly rock slide flinch into rock slide flinch into rock slide flinch, I believe. We got a chest though, that's a GG. And that little bit of creativity gets us through Roxanne Deathless. Our wealth of early game experience then kicks in, and in no time at all, we're at Brawl it, trying to have Sunny D set up again this time, in front of a minus six attack hit on top. They're able to get up to plus five special attack and KO with Mega Drain to get back up to full health. This means it's time to face Polyrath, who has killed our Sunfloor before in this exact same situation. We are not dead to crit brick break, especially at level 21, uh, so we just hit Mega Drain and hope for Hypnosis. That's fine. We should heal most of this back up. I believe we heal all of that back up. This is one hit. So that's two down. This is why you get <laughs> very, very little setup moves. I will edit. I will say that again. But still, we are far from being out of the woods. Uh, Mega Drain has a 68 chance to one hit KO. Rolling Kick is the most popular move, uh, strongest move here. So we could just get flinched. Um, and that would suck. No flinch. All right, do we hit the 68? We hit the range. Let's go. All right. But Sunny D is cut from a different cloth than his predecessors, as he takes out four Mons, allowing the rest of the squad to finish out Brawly's two remaining Pokemon to keep us deathless through two gyms. With a full box, we zoom through Slateport and Rival 2, making it time again to see how quickly we can find Lantern during Fishing Sim. Something magical is in the air as we hit Lantern on our very first attempt, allowing us to add Manny the Mantine and Little P the Tentacruel to our squad as well. The deathless run continues all the way to Watson for a second run in a row, the farthest we've been able to go without losing a mon. At the start of the fight, we call on Sunny D yet again, who sets up the plus four special attack in front of Jolteon. Now they've got the chance to do some serious damage against Watson if he can dodge crits and being fully parried. Now we uh, game. All right, we hit through the first para. That's one down. And almost back up the full. No crit, no para. Okay. That's two for free. Back up to full. Almost another level. No crit, no para. No crit, no para! <laughs> Insane luck. Again, no crit, no para. <laughs> oh boy! That might be the last Mon with a super effective coverage move. And in crunch time, Sunny D clutches it out again, soloing the Watson fight all by themselves, making Run 36 the furthest we've ever gotten Deathless. The Sunflower can't perform any of this magic in the fourth gym, so we've got to hope we hit some good Flannery brings on these upcoming routes. Route 112 starts promising with Vulpix. Then we grab Torkoal and Fiery Path, who is solid as well, but has white smoke instead of shell armor, which stops it from being insanely good. It is better than no 
Pokemon, however, which is what we get thanks to Whirlwind Noctowl on Route 113. Soon we saunter up the Red Tooth, this time without a Dark type for his Espeon, but Chef the Lettybutt is just fast enough to Encore Signal Beam to neuter their scariest Mon and bring us to Fall Arbor Town, still deathless. We then add Spinda and Wishcash to our squad and jump headlong into the Magma Gauntlet. Things are going smoothly until Grunt 6 Sudawuda hits not just one, but two 10% Ancient Power Omni Boosts. We're able to defuse the bomb with Shell Armor Kingler, but this throws our plan for taking care of the Chansey with Counter all out of whack. We try chipping it down with special attacks to avoid counter, but we barely leave a scratch. There's a chance we go from a deathless run to a wipe right here. Time to see if our newly acquired Spinda can avoid getting countered. Superpower doesn't kill. Oh god. Superpower might kill us. I think we have to hyper voice, hyper voice, pray it doesn't hit counter. If this uh, if this is counter, we lose our deathless run here, unfortunately. I don't think there's any other safe line. Okay, I think we have to risk counter again. Oh, fuck me, dog. The deathless run ends with Spinda, but we get out of the jam. That's a less scary situation for the first half of the gauntlet, but on the fight before Tabitha, we get into a bit of a jam when No Sass the Nose Pass gets poisoned in front of Gengar that can boom. Uh, I think we rip another AP here. Okay. Show me a crit ancient power. Oh wait, this is never gonna be explosion because we're too low. Ah, actually, I don't know. Uh, this is gonna be explosion. There is exactly one roll of explosion that kills King. One singular roll, which is the max roll. And a 1 in 16 max roll explosion claims the second mana of the run. We avoid getting tilted by the bad luck and respond with an absolutely clinical Tabitha that we're able to zoom right through. Despite our mental staying stable going into Maxi, the bad luck keeps coming as Manny gets crit coming in against Houndoom, which means they've got to dodge two more crits to clutch it out. Crit HP grass, great, great, great. But it got the crit out of the way. Now we're not going to get crit, cope. Uh, crit crunch kills. This doesn't look great. Oh no, we are not dead to normal crunch. Just have to dodge the crit. Whew, okay, Manny. This is a random move Alkazam though. We just need to see not psychic here. Fuck. We do dodge those crits with Manfred, but we get the worst move Alkazam can click on Lantern coming in, which crits and takes their life before they even get to move. Guardy B tries their best to come in and finish them off, but a swap to Dusclops because of their immunity to secret power turns a bad fight into an absolute disaster. Dusclops rests away any damage Gyarados is able to do to them and makes Amphi have to come in to finish the job. This means Gyarados has to clutch it out against Claydol, and they need two flinches in a row with Waterfall. Psychic does 37. Boom kills us. It's going to take three Waterfalls to kill. Flinch on first one would be huge. Okay. Fuck it, we ball. We ball! Flinch! Which they are not able to do. Somehow, we're able to win this nightmare of a fight, but not before losing Golem as well to more than double our death total right here. This run still has the legs to be the run, but if our luck continues this way, I'm not quite sure we're even going to make it to Flannery for a round four. And that's where we're going to end this episode off. If you want to pick up where the video leaves off in the VODs, there's a link down in the description. And if you want to watch me stream these runs live, subscribe over here on YouTube or follow over on Twitch to watch the dual stream on either platform. Also, if you want to join the community, there's a link to our Discord down below. And that about does it for me. I've been Saves Untitled, and I'll see y'all next time.